Okay. All right, for the record, good morning again. And I hope that we are all doing well. It's week uh, nine and we are currently on day three. So let's go ahead and start with the routine stand up and just share how was yesterday, what were you working on and how you faced any block up. Let's get started. And of course, Ahmed. Yes, Ahmed, you can go first. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, uh, yesterday I was reading about the fundamental morning, uh, fundamental analysis and technical analysis. And uh, this morning I had a meeting with my team. Uh, we discussed uh, what we understood and what we don't. Uh, we also decide to have another meeting later uh, because we have a submission today. Uh, for how I feel, uh, it's like last set on the gym when you become near to muscle sphere. <laughs> so this is uh, my status. And also I have a question about uh, the today's submission. Uh, there is something about the approach I didn't get what exactly they mean by approach this question being asked yesterday in the slide but i still uh, kind of confused okay did um to the fellow trainees did anyone get what that approach means Anyone who wants to talk? Or Ahmed, can you repeat the question quickly? Okay, the questions uh, about uh, today's submission. Uh, they are asking, Siblen, why you choose the approach? Uh, is the approach is the strategy, uh, training strategy, or is the workflow of the, the project? Okay, other teams, how are you doing it? Anyone? Hilary, Abbas. Anything? Yes, Michael, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I think it is uh, in the back test. There are the methods like back trader, file go trader, something like that. So, if you choose one of them, you should give a reason for why we choose that. I think that's why. That's what they think about. Okay. All right. Thanks, Michael. Ahmed, do you did you get that, or would you like more clarification? Yeah, if, if there is anyone can give more uh, more clarification, this will be good. Okay, and Tina, do you want to take over? Yes, sure. Uh, so, uh, okay, so just me, let me read from the uh, the submission. You like. Uh, you're asking about the first point. Explain why you chose this approach. Is this like your question? Ahmed or Dahman? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. Um, so, you like, you're faced with any choice you make within this project. So, this is regarding the back testing in particular. This is about the back, the back testing part. But any choice you make, like choices you like in the, um, how you like what kind of algorithm you're going to implement or what kind of framework you're going to choose uh, and like how you're going to choose your data uh, and any other choice you make you're making you have to explain like uh, you have to state your choice and like explain why justify it justify your choices 
so um, I mean, is this like, uh, does this clarify or is not? It's still. Can you ask a yeah, specific yeah, it's question? Clear. Okay. It's clear. Uh, uh, Johan is asking, uh, is this including the strategies uh, also? Uh, so Johannes, can you can you explain what is your question? Do you mean strategies for like uh, for the back testing? Yes, yeah, for the back data, yeah. Okay, so um, uh, okay, so the strategies are like um. I mean, do you need to make choices actually there, or is it something that you can let the the user choose basically? I think our plan is uh, the user will choose the strategies or maybe the indicator, and yeah, from that we will choose one of the strategy we will have. Yeah. So, like. Um, I think, and let me just check the, the challenge document for a bit. There are like, um, so uh, regarding like there is, um, I think there are part of this challenge, like advanced part, like I think it's task uh, five or something that where you ha yourself have to make some choices actually in, in um, cause you want to create what is called an index fund. But uh, for the first part, the, like the back testing, you need to give your your user choices. Like they, they can choose what kind of strategies they want to test, basically. So um, you don't have to make a choice in the strategy in that sense. Um, I I don't know like if there are some kind of limitations of what you you implemented. If you in your implementation you cannot do everything, you you only are going to allow. A particular kind of uh, strategies then like again you have to justify what you do but um in my understanding is that you can just leave it to the users that, does this like make sense to you johannes yes yes i understand but are we including those strategies in our report for today ah uh, do you want to like explain uh okay let me um okay so let me just check the okay so it's not one of the um, the requirements actually to explain there but yeah, okay i would say if you have like if do you want to include in your report some explanations about them that's fine that's uh Actually, I would advise to to include as much as like um, your understanding and what you went through. It is like um, in, included in your report. That is a good strategy usually. Um, but like you can look at the, what is required in the submission and focus on those. But if that's like um, easier to. Yeah, Bas Pascal, I think we can move to the next person. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, let's continue to the next person who's ready to go next. You can raise your hand. You can raise your hand. Yeah. Who's ready to go next? Let's do it quickly. Guys, we are in the final months of the training and approaching the job search phase. And, you know, we should be really so confident in raising our points because that's where we are heading. All right, time scan. And let's have other people on the queue as well. Time scan, you can go. Hi, hi. Good morning. Uh... On the approach, like uh, uh, Ahmed mentioned, uh, in the approach, uh, is it individual? I mean, uh, we are writing our approach together. 
project. So is it affect the overall group work that we are supposed to implement? Is it expected that our approach to be the same as what, what we are going to work on on the group? Because we, we haven't talked about it yet. I think the group was updated last night. So is it is this supposed to be the one we are going to work on later on, or is it our own understanding yet uh, until now? Sorry, uh, I uh, I think like uh, the voice was too um too uh, like sound volume was too low, low but I think I got the gist of what he was asking about. So of course the approach uh, like this is a a, a group a group challenge. So the approach we're expecting you to of course to have an approach for the group, not individually, and um, so um. So yeah, as as much as possible, I understand like uh, the assignment of the group happened yesterday, and maybe you haven't uh, for some reason or another. You haven't. You should really, really have a meeting already, and should have some agreement on what your approach is going to be. But if this was not possible, or if there are some details you haven't really decided yet as a group, and you want to like you have some idea in your head, you want to like on how you're going to approach it just like report that that's i think that should be fine it's not necessarily exactly what you're going to um of course like you can have a plan for now and then you change it later so that also can happen but like as much as possible this should be your group approach and how basically you decided on it does this answer your question Thomas again okay good um sure we can continue to hear you good morning everyone um, yesterday we yesterday we uh, discussed with some of uh, the members on on um on the concepts especially on kafka and so i went ahead and tried to uh, employ uh, maybe integrate Kafka with Fast uh, API just to see if I can get it set up and uh, everything was working uh, so far. And also I I um, I worked on different strategies, uh, uh, playing around with them on with Backtrader. I also uh, downloaded some or scraped some files using uh, Binance, like uh, stock from Binance and Yahoo Finance. So and um, they're working well so i'm um, we are planning to have a meeting today the group uh to discuss on the on the steps and the approach we, we are going to use yeah thank you okay that's good um good like a uh, good progress and yeah so the emphasis again on the group work let's uh all uh, let's everyone just it's a kind of carryman to please try your hardest to like work within the group and collaborate and communicate um okay uh we can move to the next person johannes i think yeah so yesterday i spent the whole the whole day experimenting with the, a lot of things to understand the concepts especially on back trader I was just reading the documentation and trying different things to understand, maybe different to come up with different strategies. And my aim was first to understand the challenge document and implement the idea I came up with. So I think I understood the uh, the challenge very well uh, for uh, maybe implementing is the next thing. And uh, I think Hilary already posted on the channel but uh, the plotting is not working for me on the notebook the when i do the serial plot it's not displaying anything
yeah yeah so i uh, also saw this just now so uh okay um i don't have like uh i don't know what is the reason for this so we'll like uh, we'll try to to solve it with you in after after this stand up uh as for the progress uh, that's like, like a good report like basically um i have no notes um yeah so um johannes do you have an, anything else to say no no yeah we just i'm with the uh, brahman group yeah we just had our first meeting uh, this morning and planning to have another meeting later good good so uh on this uh, on this like uh, point can I hear from the rest of the group? So group two, from two to six, uh, which one of you had already had a meeting and some like uh, a planning session or something? Like, can I, can I get some report on that? I want to check on your like, uh, on group dynamic, preemptively. So yeah, what I'm asking is like group two to six, have you had the meeting already or not? have you like have you started to plan your work or not so anyone from group two so um okay so who are the people in group two yeah, so yeah, I'm going to read. So we have group two, we have Abraham, uh, Derege, Salmoet, and Temesgen. Uh, any one of them here? Yeah. Have That's you good. had the meeting? That's what I'm asking. Have you had a meeting already? Yes, Temesgen. We had, we haven't had uh, a meeting. But we have, we have contacted on. So, if you can rate your communication level, have everyone in the in the group uh, communicated? Are everyone? Does it seem like you have like a hundred percent level of communication or less? Not yet, uh, because I think we have checked the group update uh, last night, so. We only converted on, on this morning, and uh, one group member is not online yet, yeah. so we are waiting for that. And we'll make, we'll make sure to contact you with the uh, beer in the afternoon. Okay, good. So just make sure to make to have a uh, like a meeting as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, thank you, Thomas. Again, so Abubakar is saying that from Group Three, they created a class group. We didn't have everything yet, so they are planning to have one today. Please do. Um, okay. So it's like um, it, it, I understand like sometimes the technical issues prevent people from actually having an actual meeting. But as long as long as you can have a plan, a planning session basically, and like set a plan, set of your like what is your roles are going to be i i mean this is your third is it your third or your fourth maybe it's your first week working to in a group so um you should really like by this time have some kind of like a, a understanding of like what is, what is a good way to go about working in a group and how to collaborate and if you are facing any problems you can reach out to us um like in the in that like uh is the tutors team um okay you can you so johannes is asking like should we add tutors to the group or will we the academy team create new groups you can add us to your existing groups uh we don't need to like i i think um you don't need to create new groups as long as you created your own um Okay, so we have we reached uh, group three. So I want someone from group four, five, and six to confirm if they had like some planning session or a meeting already, or is is still not yet. In the meanwhile, if anyone wants to like um, 
of course, if you want to you actually like, yeah, Hillary. Mm. So uh, I I saw the update uh, later in the evening, but we had a session, a, a Google Meet session with uh, most of the colleagues. Uh, like two two one was not there, and we 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 went just through the challenge document. Not much about planning. We try to understand what we can use for different aspects, and we also created a GitHub organizer. Yeah, that's okay. That's part of the plan. Yeah. Great, great work. Uh, yeah. So, uh, good. Thank you, thank you, Hilary, for this. Uh, so uh, we have like uh, group five and six. If you have some report, there is also like uh, there is something like um, maybe there is a note about in the telling document. I don't know if you paid attention, but like. Um, there is like this uh, recommendation to use GitHub projects and issues to help you with organization. Of course, can, you can use other things, but you can check out, like you can actually use, create a project and like, uh, and then in every task you want to implement in your project, you can create an issue for it. And then once you've done it, you can basically, uh, yeah. So, just check that, check that projects and issues in GitHub. Oh, Bakr, yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, so I was actually setting up uh, the project in our organization on Monday. Yeah. So I was I was actually seeing that there was no issue on our app. So it's called projects. So I created some tasks on projects and everything. Some of that I have, but I try to look for issues on it. So there is no issues. I think it is uh, it's being called projects. So is that a thing or am I missing something? Uh, so, sorry, can you? Uh, so uh, are you talking about GitHub? What is that? Like, um, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm talking about GitHub, yeah. So Hilary, do you want to? In projects. Yeah, so Hilary, do you want to answer for Walker or do you have a different question? It's uh, like uh, uh, to answer on, on my view. I When I was working last week, I saw it on repository. So it's not like it's in organization, but on a specific repository, the second tab also. Yeah, so yes, exactly. So if you look at the, yes. like uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, Maybe you yeah, saw it I, like I, 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 I sorry to interrupt, but I, I saw it is projects and I also created some tasks on projects, not issues. So I'm just trying to make sense of it. But is it an issue or is it a project? So okay, let me just uh, it used to be called an issue previously, I guess. No, it's Maybe. called an issue. So there are, there are two different things we're talking about here. But okay. basically, you can organize issues within a particular project. Um, okay, so just to maybe it will be easier if I showed you this. Uh, like, sorry, it will take a few minutes, maybe a couple of minutes, maybe more. And um, yes, let shall me I share my screen? Uh, no, no, I will. I will share my screen and show you, and then. Or, or you can share yours. Maybe you can go there. Yes, share your screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? Uh, yes. Okay, so this is this is the the tab I have. So I actually created some tasks. So as you can see, there is no uh, issues. It's just called project sites. So this is where the like Kanban style uh, tasks. Uh -huh. So it says action. So I, I just don't see issues. That's why. 
uh, okay. Um, let me just check. Um, Yeah, uh, still no. So let me like I want to. Uh, if I want to create maybe a new repository here, and um, so maybe I can show you my screen instead and um. Okay. So Uh, so yeah, I'm just trying to create a new project. I'm 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 not sure what is. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why you like I can't see them that right there, like it's here, but like yeah, you can create basically when you create a new project. Is it some? Are you just using something like? Uh... I'm not sure what is like why you don't have an issue tab. But um, so this is what I was telling people to do basically is that. Um, OK, uh, I, I think our issues are for the organization. Yeah, the personal. Uh, ah, so this you are in, in your yeah. in organization. Sorry. Yeah. I, I found it. I found it. Thank you, Thomas. I just so probably the projects are for personal and issues are for organization, but I think they can be interchanged or pipelined. No, it's so I was I was in personal. You can have in both like uh, projects and issues are both available in personal and organization repos. It's not the thing. It's not the reason. Uh, I think but, it's changing to, to projects. I think so. So when I, I, I refer to the doc, and uh, it was actually routing me back to the projects as well. Okay, so it, so I don't think they are going to remove issues. Maybe they just remove the tab. But um, I mean, maybe like a, like a, when you create tasks within a project, and I guess like if I can like maybe show the other people this. Um, Say I created um, uh, a back testing. Let's say I will call it back testing. Uh, well, whatever it doesn't matter really the name. But let's say I want to call it this, and I created a new project here. Then basically, and I I can, I can create let's say the task one, and um, so like I have like different, and then I can basically change this into an issue, and then I will have to choose the repo I want to to be attached to. Um, and then if I go back, so this is a project tab. It's not like a, the project can have multiple repos in it. I think. And uh, of course, here I also can assign people. So if I this is an organization, you can have multiple people here, and then you can assign a task to like a, or like a, to a particular person. Um, okay, if I go back now to my uh, repository. You can see I have the issues here. These are open. And of course, when like uh, if I can do like some kind of uh, so my repo is completely empty. But if I do some kind of um, 
uh, update and like I finish one of the tasks, I can close the issue that is related to it. So that's what I was saying. So maybe, I don't know, uh, like what you're seeing, uh, um, there's the issue you're facing, uh, what can I don't know, maybe there is actually some change, but I don't see it in my side. So um, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that it cannot be, like it's not disappeared probably, but let's like, uh, check it. But, um, that's okay. So I'm just gonna look at the computer problem. And, um, uh, yes, it's probably. Uh, so, can answer. you see this answer? The first answer you can see here. Check setting general features and enable issues in your in your GitHub. Um, okay, okay, I'll check that. Are these features are they here? Sometimes the answers if you're in the first are really helpful, sometimes they are not. So I cannot really actually find the features they're talking about. So Anyway, so let's not take more time on this. Uh, we can discuss this later. This is just a thing that you can use basically in your organization, especially that you're working in a group. You can see also, like if you check the repos that like uh, that like you use of everything you use, they are always using issues because like um, it's a way to do like if you have a task, if there is a problem or anything, you can just open an issue for it, and then once you solve it, you close it. Uh, okay. Uh, so, any other questions or anything that you want to share? Um, okay, well, welcome. Okay, so uh, my question, my other question is on backtesting. So, I think there are technical analysis, different kinds of technical analysis. So, like, are we going to use, like, there are many different, to my understanding, so, are we going to use, like, how many of them, or? Sorry, uh, can you repeat what, um, can you repeat the question from the start, like, sorry? There are different uh, technical analysis types, so, from what what I see, uh, like the, I I even got familiar with like at least five five six of them. So um, like moving average. Five, five, or, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like the, those are the different types. Like uh, we used to analyze the like the stock market movements. So like. Are we using uh, different types? Like, are we using all of them? Some of them? Like, how much are we going to be using? Um, okay, so so your implementation has to like in the okay. If you have to make a choice, you can just choose some of them, of course. You are not uh, expecting you to like completely understand all. So there are like really, um, like you, you need to like read a bit and understand what the meaning of each of these. So if like uh, you need to make a choice in your implementation of like which ones to use, you can choose some of them, like, um, not not all uh that's that's i think that's fine as especially as uh, like a beginning in the beginning you can plan to include more later if it's um, yeah so if you you need to just in your implementation you have to take into account um you can take into account only a few of those like, uh, um yeah I think, um, Abrahman. Uh, sorry, uh, I will jump to another question. I uh, just remember sure. it. Uh, I don't have a complete understanding for the project yet. So 
I can't see the benefit of using the instance. So can you give me clarification? Uh, what is the benefit of using an instance? Okay, so um, I think the plan for is for you to use uh, AWS and AWS uh, um, S3 for as your database. So you're not going to be using Postgres this time. Um, so yeah, it's like, um, do you like you can of course you can still maybe try to implement this locally on your local machine but like, yeah so the plan is for you to use of course to use like uh, the computational and benefit and also use aws s3 like or it's not s3 maybe um uh okay where it is it the database AWS RDS for your database. So it's a relational, the relational one. Okay, so uh, so that's basically, yeah, that's uh, basically the, the benefit of this. Uh, if you're going to, be, to build something that is like, um, um, reliable and like capable of handling, um, large amount of data and like uh, also um, handling uh, um, what to say it's uh, ha handling like um, um, many uh, requests from many like uh, potentially many users it's just um, yeah so it's like a, do you have a problem with the handling with using an instance is this like a is it an issue for you, Abraham? No, no. I just uh, wanted to yeah. So uh, to fully understand why uh, why you need to that. understand of, of any tool we use. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let me think. I'm trying to think if there is one particular part of this project which is like computationally maybe um, more like. Um, um more expensive or something but um i think like uh, aside from using aws uh, for for a database uh with other other parts are like you can do on your local machine probably but um yeah you know listen together so hillary so my question on that note, what about machine learning models? Uh, like, uh, so, um, from the challenge document, uh, the the uh, interim submission is saying we on task one we we shall approach on uh, ML integrating ML. I mean, isn't that used for, for first of all? How do we like work on it on task one because task one is about back testing, and then can that be used maybe now on AWS? Um, oh, sorry. So, um, okay. We are saying what task one machine learning and data engineering pipeline. Um, and but and task one doesn't have, it's only about back testing. Uh, okay, so, Actually, there are like uh, so there are mentioned like because this is like in 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 detail. This is task five, I think. No, um, it's task five and task six that have like uh, uh, machine learning and then language models. Um, but yeah, so. uh maybe okay it's not clear from task one that what is what part is machine learning um uh, 
okay let me get back to you on this hillary um i i will i will get back to you on slack on this in this part okay um yeah yeah my other question is about kafka uh what do we need it for so let's say um okay uh, are we going to do scraping for your for data like your finance I, there's a library to do the scraping because uh we can we can just download it once or um i mean the data can be downloaded once as large for five years so why do we need kafka Okay, yeah, so, yeah. okay, okay, that's a good question. And um, yeah, so you it's not about the scraping. You can completely download your, your data, like the data you want to use, all in a database and be done with it. Okay, it's, Kafka is not about like if you need to scrap. Kafka is about it, like, um, as, as we said yesterday, it's an event streaming, so it can handle um uh, requ uh like uh, can handle like data sorry yes you want to say sorry, sorry. yeah sorry for interruption but yeah um i understand that it's about event streaming so in this case when we don't really have like event streaming it's unless we have continuous flow or um because uh like what i understood is that the user only enters the parameters when the user wants to get uh, results for their strategy backtested. And if not, uh, there wouldn't be any flow of data. Yeah, but how many users do you have? Oh, OK. Um, That's the point. So yeah, it's if you if you have only a few users, you can use just a database. And that will be fine. Because like your database can handle just this asking the request from, um, from people uh, a few or like um, a, a, a reasonable amount but if you have many users and you need to like handle the requests as they come that's where you use your kafka so kafka is going to be handling like um uh, getting like the the specification of the back testing from 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 the user so like what is called a scene i think so you'll be getting scenes from users and then you can get like uh, the results of the back testing also um, from from your back end. Uh, so it can handle like it will be communicating with your, your database or your back end and use with your front end all at the same time. You can have multiple topics for each like handling different things. And basically the idea is that this is you're building this this that the pipeline not you don't think about it yet you're just doing it for a challenge here and only you're going to be testing it yourself uh, a few times this is something that we uh, potentially just like we need you to get the aspects of like working in building something that can be really used um um by like um, maybe many users and you need to have like a flow that in its innocent thing is uh, more or less so did do you get like the concept the idea like does this answer your question hillary yes yeah I, yeah i get the idea so i mean is in what you're saying is in that like concurrency handling many users and is yes yeah kafka mm -hmm. can kafka do that yeah it can handle that exactly it can handle many consumers and many producers of data at the same time without it affecting uh, its um it's uh, like uh, performance without it affecting like uh, um without it affecting each other without it affecting the data itself so yeah it's like um it, because like um, um yes yeah, basically kafka scales very well so you can basically uh easily even if you build it with like one server and like uh have only one 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 uh, one replica of your data. You can easily just change that to multiple, and then build more servers and like deploy it easily to handle uh, as many 
um, consumers or producers at the same time. Um, yeah, so it's the, uh, how to say, Yeah, so just keep that in mind. You're not just building this butterfly pipeline just to be tested by you or by us within this challenge. It's something that um, maybe not all part of it, but like just the concepts and the tools um, are are ones that are like uh, going to make it so make it more like a, something that is scalable and like. A, and capable of handling like uh, really like um, a volume, a high volume of usage. Okay, so I hope this answers your question, um, Hilary. So I think this question and Abdurrahman question from before are kind of related. Um, so yeah, good questions. It's like uh, it's like you're asking us what to justify our choice of tools to. To, to ask you to use basically, and this is a good thing. So, uh, good. Um, any other questions? Uh, okay, so if not, I think uh, we can end the session here. Uh, Pascaline? Yeah, we can end Thank this you. session um, We are kind of over time, but it's all right. So, yeah, sorry, oh, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you, hmm? Askelin. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm very sorry. So there is something that uh, we we announced before and we didn't do, which is the presentations for week eight. I told you on Monday that you can continue. We can. We are going to give you a chance to present uh, for the people who didn't, and we haven't had that. So first, I apologize for this not happening. Second, I'm not sure that we are going to to have a chance to do that, but I will let you know if we if we like we're ever if we will set up a session particularly for you to present your work from week eight. So like um, it's still uh, it's on, on our mind. We haven't forgotten about it for people who really want to present. Uh, uh, we will we will let you know. Okay, so just I wanted to apologize for this and um, yeah, so continue Pascal. I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Uh, thanks for raising that in tune. Uh, yeah, then we can call it a meeting and then enjoy the rest of our day. If you're still having any questions, problems, do it like we always do. Put it on Slack and then we have a conversation. Okay, bye for now, everyone. <laughs>